salivate metal ear. And in my previous video where I unboxed a 2015 African Wildlife Somalian high relief silver coin that was loose in the capsule, you saw me handle it with my bare hands. And I did receive some comments with some shock and surprise that I did so, but there's a reason for that. As most of you may be astute, know from my previous videos, I've never worn gloves to handle my coins. So I'm gonna handle this coin, take it out of the capsule, and show you how it's done and why I do as such. Because see, there's one thing about my hands that may be different from most here in the Silver YouTube community and beyond. For everything I touch with these hands, typically turns to rust or just becomes completely worn in much shorter time than the average use from someone else's hands. I have the magic touch for wearing things down. And uh, whether it be my steering wheel, any tools I use, or anything I touch essentially becomes worn very quickly. But I'm holding this coin by the edges there, and it's not causing any damage to the piece. And typically, as long as you're very careful like this, you will be fine. Just make sure your hands are clean, and there's no extra oil or anything on them. And you can cup them like this and make it look like you're really squashing the coin, but really it's okay. It's all fine and good and fine and dandy. And you may ask, well, why don't you just wear gloves? Well, cotton gloves, believe it or not, have fibers in them that can be cause more damage to the coin than using just your hands themselves. And uh, the reason why I don't wear rubber gloves is because I'm not a proctologist. But the same holds true for rubber gloves is that the material in them uh, creates more tension uh, in handling the coin and could potentially cause more abrasions and the like on them as well. So essentially it's fine to handle them, handle them as such. You can do a little finger dance with them as I did there. And I could send this off to NGC or PCGS and they would never know that it's been handled by human hands unless you in the silver community were to rat me out and point them to this video. So have fun with your coins. Feel free to touch them unprotected because what better way to have one-on-one -on -one skin contact with the coins and the silver the and the metals, metals for, for which you, you desire. desire. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.